What's up, guys? This weekend was San Diego Comic Con. What kind of nerd would I be if I didn't talk about the premier comic convention and the place where all the news happens? And there was a lot of news. I was going to hit up Comic Con this year, but I could never get the right costume. Um, I first tried being Spider Man. <sighs> didn't work out so well. So then I decided, okay, Captain America. Nah. Thor? Close, close. That was almost it, but then I thought, let's let's step outside the box. Let me be He-Man. It just didn't work. So eventually, I just said, fuck it, I'm going to Taco Bell instead. So I drowned all my sorrows in a Dorito taco combo. Ended up saving a few bucks, so not a bad deal. There was a lot of news about the comic-based TV shows that are coming out. The new season of Arrow, you know, we've got the Gotham show, we've got uh, The Flash and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. coming back. Now, I'm not going to get into all that, but if you're interested in what's going down with those, check out the comments below. There will be a link that will get you everything you need, because I kind of like you. One of the big things was uh, Marvel's Ant-Man. They had, you know, a panel, and they talked about how this is going to be a heist film, which is something we haven't seen in the Marvel Universe, cinematic universe before. So I'm interested in that. They announced, I'm going to butcher her name, but Evangeline Lilly is going to be playing Hope Pym, which Michael Douglas said it was Hope Van Dyne which got the nerds all in a little tizzy because that implies Janet Van Dyne and the Wasp. Who knows, it might still happen. You never know. They also announced Corey Stoll, which is playing uh, Darren Cross or Yellow Jacket. So it's, it's going to be cool, and it's leading off Phase 3 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so they've got a lot riding on it, even though there's been a lot of issues a lot of issues with the movie so far, so let's hope they get it worked out. They're still setting it for release July 31st of 2015. There weren't many new comic book movies announced. Um, we've got a laundry list of dates that Marvel announced, but nothing nailed down. The only specific one was Guardians of the Galaxy 2, which is coming out July 28th of 2017. The most out of left field news was uh, Legendary Pictures announcing a new King Kong movie. It's going to focus on Skull Island, which is where King Kong's from. Um, Legendary also are the ones behind the new Godzilla movies, and it was also announced that there's going to be a Godzilla 2 that just very well may feature Rodan, Mothra, and King Ghidra. Now, I can't help but think this is just setting up for King Kong vs. Godzilla which I love the original, I want to see an update. Make it happen. Now probably the biggest news of the weekend came from DC and Warner Brothers who on display they had the cape and cowl of the new Batman costume which looked amazing, it looked great. They also released an image of Ben Affleck in the Batman cowl and he looked um, amazing. He looked great. So everybody that's been upset about Ben Affleck being Batman, suck it. All right. I think he's going to do a good job. So DC has a lot riding on this. So I don't think they're going to screw it up. Even though I have accused them in the past of rushing their shared universe, I think they'll pull it off. They also finally released the first image of Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman, and while her costume is not actually comic accurate, it looks great for the universe they've created, and it's faithful enough. She looks like Wonder Woman, and it looks really good. The coolest thing from their panel was the teaser of footage from the movie. It was actually leaked online, so we have seen it, but the videos are getting pulled very quickly. So if you see a link for it and you want to see it, you better watch it immediately because it'll be gone in an hour. It shows, you know, Batman in his giant bat armor pulling the sheet off of the bat symbol and then he looks up 
in the air and there's Superman just glaring down at him with these glowing red eyes like he's going to beat the shit out of Batman. And then it just ends. And it was fantastic footage. It's got me super excited for this. Now, not to be outdone by DC and Warner Brothers, Marvel had a few things up their sleeve as well. Uh, leading up to the event, they released posters of each Avenger that combined to form this giant poster of the Avengers battling a horde of Ultron robots, which was awesome. It looks great, but the coolest thing about it, I think, was in the top corner, you see the Vision, and it's our very first look at the Vision for the cinematic universe, and he looks like the Vision, so I'm happy. It's admittedly not a great look at, you know, the character, but you see the cape and the overall shape and the way he's just kind of floating there it looks like the vision so I'm happy with it just hope they get the colors right but we'll see that soon enough they showed a four minute trailer for the movie that has not leaked online yet somehow the audio has leaked but the video is not how does that even happen um, it sounds amazing the description is absolutely incredible as one nerd told me it gave him goosebumps just reading the description it's going to be a much darker movie than the original Avengers. There's a scene in the trailer that has Tony Stark standing over a pile of dead Avengers. Now, we know they're not all going to die, but I'm very curious to how this happens because it's, it's pretty clear that they're going to take a beating. Um, you got Captain America's shield just, you know, completely broken. And they had that on display, which is kind of cool and kind of leads into where is he going to get his replacement. You need vibranium. Better take your ass to Wakanda and see the Black Panther and get it. There's how you lead into the Black Panther movie. Let's do this. Always thinking ahead, Marvel. Always thinking ahead. So anyway, if you happen to see this footage, tweet me at ComicsNerds or email me at ComicsNerdsUnited at gmail.com let me know, because i got to see this. What do you think of the reveals from Comic-Con? What was the most surprising? What was your favorite? What uh, did you think sucked? Who lost? Who won? Whatever. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And as always, like, subscribe, comment. Email me at uh, comicsnerdsunited at gmail.com or tweet me at comicsnerds or Facebook me at comicsnerdsunited. All those things. Don't forget, this Friday is Guardians of the Galaxy. Check it out, bitches.